Welcome back, everyone, to Let's Play Rule the Waves as Russia. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm still getting over my little cold here, but uh, just like our Russian fleet after a major defeat, we will push on. I will push on. So, so that's what we'll do. Hopefully, the next battle will go a little better for us. Um, the blockade is really hurting our ability to function well. I probably also should have gotten tried to get the floor classes to leave. Let's see what the Americans are producing. See, I'd much rather go to war against this. Much more defensive type of ship, but I prefer that. We can see that the battle cruisers that I'm facing by the British, they are... Damn it. Uh, Return of the Mal 39. <clears throat> These guys are just coming out. The Kimbrin class are just finishing their retrofits. Um... We're still doing some damage. In fact, I don't see any. Oh boy. I was about to say, I don't see any. Um, I don't see any raiding by the British at all. I guess they don't need to raid because they. You know, the. Um, <laughs> they're blockading me. <laughs> we don't have any ships out going to port or anything because we're blockaded, right? but a battleship engagement, so maybe we can turn the tide here. Let's see what we have. A strong group of light cruisers. Well, I think we're going to make for port immediately. Let's see. What light guns do we... What gun emplacements do we have in support? Because uh, uh, if things are anything like the last battle... A six inch down here. Six inch. So our nine inch is way over there. Okay. We might even just sail right back and because we just don't have You know what I might do actually? The fastest ships I think in in that we have in action are these Battle cruisers. Oh yeah, and they now have the surface mounted torpedoes, which is pretty cool. So I think what we're going to do is this. Whoa, what the hell is the Molotov doing? Let's try to bring her back into the to the herd. Um, what I'm thinking about doing is this. I want... It doesn't look like we're going to be able to control her. So I'm going to try to make her core to this. I don't know if that'll work. I'm going to just... Let all of our main ships go back to port. <laughs> the Zorky's fast enough to keep up with these guys. They are not. Oh, this is even worse. These guys are... Uh, my rating class, the Flora. <clears throat> so they are really not designed to be in a scout. It's just very poor decision to put them in the scout position. Oh, we can't change anything right now because, right, we have to have contact with their fleet. Which is quite unfortunate. But that's a, okay, fine. Okay, and the visibility, it looks like, is extremely poor. So weather's clear. That's one thing, I guess, working in our advantage. Excuse me. Oh my gosh, they're so close. We're just going to launch torpedoes immediately. Get the Zorky to AI control. Actually, let's first put him into support. Line abreast. Squad max. You guys. Support. Line ahead. Squad max. Um, I don't know what the best thing to do here is, so I'm just going to go squad max at an angle. I think that they're heading left to right. We'll find out in a second. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. Can we get this guy under control now? And it doesn't. So I might just turn these guys right around, because we only have one Cesarevich, and we have two... 
of our lighter ships. Yeah, let's just do that. Um, just go to support, line ahead, everyone. I'll keep these guys on screen, actually. Put them to AI control. What are you? Support line ahead. Okay, we'll go to AI control. So hopefully I won't have to worry about those guys too much. This is interesting what's going to happen here. Okay. Oh, boy. Okay, we have encouraged torpedo launching. This guy's support line abreast, please. Turn together. Okay, heavy guns. That means we're really up against the big boys. Boy smoke. We just want to launch torpedoes and get the hell out of here. Ah, yes. Now that you guys are support line ahead, go to AI control. Just turn around. I'm just going to send these guys back home, and hopefully I won't have to think about them. These guys did actually accept my orders, which is nice. No. How? Ah, oh, jeez. The chances of that happening are just so small. They only have six torpedoes, but it's just incredibly unlikely, but they've they've done it. Doesn't look like Mendez Domingo's crippled. Oh god. Oh god. Alright, well we're returning home. We're just gonna take our licking. We're going to take that hit right on the jaw and push out. How is Ndez Domingo doing? Good. So the torpedo protection we have, I think we have two. Jeez, that was... Uh, this is like a... <laughs> The slow erosion of the uh, Russian fleet. This is a sad, sad story. <sighs> oh well. Well, that might be it. That might be it for the for the whole battle. Well, we really don't care. <laughs> it doesn't look very brave or bold, yes, I agree, but this is just, I think, I want to mass our fleet. We don't stand a chance when we have three dreadnoughts and two battlecruisers. Okay, so we lost the destroyer, they had nine, we had, well, I guess we had some other ships floating around somewhere no, no no this is exactly correct so they had nine and we had uh, six total it's not when I put it that way it doesn't sound that bad but I know that their ships way outnumbered us we need our big boys our Cesarevich's and the new uh, Ismail class to come out marginal victory only losing a destroyer not gonna hurt us too much that's the reason why I'm very happy about our decision Let's see what we are up against. Okay, how? Resolution. Hansen. And those are light ships. This is not a light ship. That's one that could really sink us in a hurry. I think they had one more. No, five battle cruisers. Two light battle cruisers. So 
So they only had two heavy ships out of the number, and the rest of them. I mean, our battle cruisers are only able to go toe to toe with the smaller ones, and they can't, they're not better. They're just equal. <laughs> so yeah, I, I guess I'm okay. I guess I'm quite happy that we didn't engage. Now things are really going to hell in a handbasket because we have a terrible monthly balance. We have no funds left to support that negative balance. Probably going to have to halt another construction, which, I mean, these Ismails are just never, ever going to see the light of day. Nor this Cesarevich. We can just easily halt this one. Yeah. But we're so close to getting a few of these guys out. Well, half a year from getting the rest of our forces really out. out. So, um, let's see. Uh, what I want to do is go down to my floor classes. Find anybody who's in Northern Europe, I guess. These guys are. And yet again, I'm going to try to move them out uh, to West Africa. Obviously, this they're going to try to run the blockade. Some of them are going to be caught. That's not good. But I think we have to try. We're down to four Rubens. We don't have any destroyers left. That was our last destroyer. <laughs> we don't have the funds to build new ones. Hell in a handbasket. It's truly. What would it be really nice... No, we don't even have a month. Just get the hell out of here. <laughs> um, what would be really nice is if we were able to start invading one of our one of the British colonies, since we have a lot of battleships throughout. And I think we're going to have to do it. We'll risk revolution in order to save ourselves. So this is only interesting for our, yeah, that's what I thought. Wow. Things are going well on the strategic map, though. We're falling behind in victory points per turn, but we're sinking a lot of ships. And there it is. So we just need to hold out. And we can't... We can't decline this one, and we're nowhere near home ports. Well, this is it. <laughs> This is really, this really might be the one that we lose everything. That's a good pessimistic uh, point of view to take into the battle. Oh, it looks like all we have is the Bronzewag. It's the Bronzewag out for a pleasure stroll. We have two, three battle cruisers with her. The only thing good about this is everybody, yeah, the Bronzewag even is fast, I think. 22. She can outrun anything but the battle cruisers. So what we could do is try to position ourselves in a way where we only take on the battle cruisers. Now, is this one of those that I have control of from the get-go? Let's find out. No. So we still need to encounter a ship. Or is it one of those where I get control? Nope. Oh god. Well those might be the transports. Uh, it would be nice to refresh ourselves with a victory. I'm actually just going to go in a line ahead because we spotted them and there might be more, but I need us to be an effective fighting force, so I can't delay. The Imperial de Pavel 1, remember she's an old German ship, so I trust her to just be able to run at high speed for long intervals. Oh my god. So these guys are Flora classes. I don't know, is this one also? Yeah. So I'll try to keep them out of, yeah, out of everything.
No. You wouldn't. You would. These guys are floor class as well, which means we just need them to get the hell out of there. Well, I need to maintain contact with the fleet. So these guys are going squad max in. That's good. He's going squad max. These guys go squad max. Okay, good. A non flora. Very happy. You have to stay basically in range of my bronze swag because uh, otherwise you'll go to AI control. So we'll just keep them at 20. Let the bronze swag catch up. They'll form a battle line. All right, we are, these are capable in surface combat. They just don't have torpedoes or speed. So, so far we're out, actually we landed a hit, which could be very useful. And more hit ourselves by the other one. This might be a good raid. We could do a nice surface raid here. Oh, that's just terrible. I mean, I still think that the, we are just as capable of defeating them as vice versa. Although we do have the old cruiser design. Um, this is the old protected cruiser armor, which is vastly inferior to normal. So our hits are going to hurt more. Although this is really going to change things in a hurry, getting 11 inch shells landing. That's, I mean, that's more like it. So that's probably what we'll end up doing is just letting these guys absorb a few hits and then, oh, unsighted. That's not what I want to see. It's probably a heavy ship. Uh, they are pummeling us. She fired seven guns? She didn't even have seven guns. <laughs> Well, why don't you guys just deploy smoke and, you know, make your way out of here ASAP. I'm almost hoping they take enough damage that I can detach them. <laughs> Alright, here comes the battle cruisers or something. Dreadnoughts as they appear. What do we have? They're fast enough, I think. Oh god. Is this the end of us? Okay, let's just make our way directly towards these ships. The Braunschweig is getting up to speed, I hope. Yeah, she's already running at her max. Flank speed to intercept the new forces. Okay, they're firing heavy guns back. I, I really don't think that this is going to go well for us. We're able to land a few 11 inch hits to start. I We're gonna have to pull back. Not until we know what they are. So we'll have the Molotov. What is, oh my God, they're just destroying us. Oh, we have just no luck. Okay. All right, Flores, your job now, since you refuse to leave, I mean, it's not that you have a choice about it, but you aren't able to leave Northern Europe, so now you will leave Northern Europe. <laughs> Exiting through the sky, going to heaven. Or, well, that's a little presumptuous. We don't know their personalities. But you're going to have to, oh my god, no, it had to be this, of course. So definitely we want to make sure our guys are running dead ahead, away, so it narrows their um, profile. They only get two of their five turrets off. But that, ex obviously this explains why we're, they have such low armor, we actually are hitting them, but 40,000 on ship is just not something you can sink very easily. So let's get our guys to deploy smoke in a manner which helps us. Oh my god. 
Oh my god, the humanity. Oh, the humanity, like literally. Launch torpedoes. Both of her rear guns are disabled. One of her front ones. Holy shit. Holy shit balls. The other one is Australia. We can do this. Oh, and Niobe. We can't do this. You know what? I we gotta stand somewhere though. I just we can't just run away every time. We're, we'll never win. The proud Russian navy does not like to run away in general, but I don't see any way around it. Okay, so these guys are gonna deploy their smoke, which is good. I mean, that's the perfect line. Just a perfect line. Boy, the Abaker can move, though. Good God. Uh, equal speed, and we're already chopped down. Ah, oh, fucking 15. Pardon my French. Jeez, man. <laughs> Holy cow. Oh, this doesn't look good. <laughs> oh, a fire started on the Molotov 2 as well now. If you guys can deploy smoke, you can't. Alright, the humanity's dead dead to rights, so what we're gonna do is pull off and we're gonna launch our torpedoes. We still have our torpedoes left. God save the king! He can't turn. His brother's jammed. Come on, buddy. Oh god, the humanity. We're actually hitting them with the Molotov, though. Come on, McStabman. We actually need you to just get in here as fast as possible. I mean, I don't know how this can end well, but... Okay, there's the humanity. Hide behind her hulk. Yeah, they are closing in fast. Well, the humanity in the Molotov 2, I believe these guys have been running mates for a long time, since the previous war with the Germans, if I'm not mistaken. So I'm going to do something which is a little more game lore, roleplay-ish, than intelligent. I'm going to have the Molotov peel off to save the humanity's crew. Even though that we know that she's sinking, they know that she's sinking, but we're going to have the Molotov peel off to protect. The Molotov is still perfectly capable, but my hope in doing this is that she'll launch torpedoes, and if we get lucky, we might actually score a few hits on the Abacrear. I'm hoping that that will happen right about the time that my Imperator Pavel finally gets into range. I, I don't think this is necessarily a small, smart thing to do, but let's have some fun. If we're going to lose all our ships anyway, might as well have fun doing it, right? <laughs> Which way is she going to turn, though? That's what I can't tell. Okay, yes. Please launch your torpedoes. Please. I mean, we're actually hitting from really close. This would be a nice time for a turret flash fire. I'm honest. Stabman's getting into range soon. Pirdo Pavel making all haste. Oh my god. Well, I don't know what these surface mount uh, torpedo things are for. If we're not going to employ them, but...
Wow, we actually returned a decent amount of fire. Oh, that was five inch hits. They have such low armor, any one of these could just get really, really lucky. We're down to 19. Current speed is 15, I guess. Near miss. Uh, Topaz being ripped apart by the Australia, who is absolutely a cruiser killer. Well, the Maltop doesn't look like she's going to make it, unfortunately. Most, most unfortunate. I don't know if our turn here really didn't cause her to uh, die or not, but it kind of shows you that even our treaty class ships are out of are just really outclassed. <laughs> Turret destroyed. So the Molotov 2 is still returning fire, which is nice. Uh, she was able to get off one final rear barrage, hit the Abacur class. Doesn't appear to have taken any damage, but did was able to disable a turret looks like. Two more 11 inch hits. The Nobi is still just whew, wrecking hell on the Molotov though. And that's probably what will end up doing her in. Alright, so we need the McStabman. It's like, okay, this is a lost cause. We'll have the Molotov pull back to the humanity so they can nuzzle next to each other in death, sink to the bottom together, pool their lifeboats, whatever you want to say. <laughs> and let's just hope the McStabman can lure these back to the Imperial de Pavel. And I'm going to still hope that the Imperator Pavel can pull things out. It looks like the Molotov is still doing well. I mean, still with one turret remaining. The one turret she has active is still firing at the Abacur class. We're landing two 11-inch hits. That's not bad. In fact, we've, already just, we've actually destroyed one of her turrets. Very well played, Molotov, too. Very well played. And we just need the Imperial Pavel, and I'm going to go full on with the Imperial Pavel. Yeah, like this is extremely good news that the humanity is absorbing so many hits. All right, Molotov. I mean, I don't know if you were holding out, but now would be a great time to launch. Your damn torpedoes. Smile, you son of a bitch. <laughs> it's about that point in the movie where <laughs> you, you, you hit the tin can in the jaw's mouth. Come on. They're right on top of you. Come on. Uh, I, I have faith. Oi. <laughs> I should not have had faith. Jam starboard. Oh, God. Wait. Oh, oh, God. Wait, who did we grab here? We grabbed humanity. No. I can't grab the Molotov. There we go. Are you jump? Yeah, you are gems. Okay, starboard is fine. So in the meantime, we're still picking away at the Apocrypt class. I suspect our intelligence on her is really good considering how close our ships are. Excuse me. Ah, the Imperial de Pavel, just get in here hey, as quickly as possible. Stabman. Okay. Well, that I think this turn is going to be the last uh, moments of the Molotov 2. She has pretty significant flooding damage. It doesn't look like she's going to launch her torpedoes, which I'm, I'm a little sad about that. But we have no control. We, we, didn't, we weren't able to control such a thing. Unfortunately. 
Just taking a few more heavy hits. Trying to get my ships to hide behind the humanity. <laughs> I mean, we're still able to get a few things done with the Abacure. That's plenty of hits. Remember, I, I keep forgetting this myself, but her armor is extremely light. She's such a big ship. She's very good at range, but we're very tight. So she doesn't have the armor to support like these um, volley to volley fights. I mean, w we don't either, but <laughs> but against 16 inch guns, I don't think we have any chance. Uh, it doesn't matter what kind of armor we have at this range, it would be penetrated, so it doesn't really matter. I have to have the Molotov. I want to stop her so she doesn't keep moving in circles, but I'm not going to. Okay, McStabbin's close, but we have to think about things in terms of uh, the grander strategy here. We know that these guys are going to protect the transport ships, which I don't want to forget are there. So maybe it would be good if we uh, regroup and then assault the... These ships should still be around. We may be able to... Um, Engage them with the McStabman and Imperator Pavel in a tight battle line, which may be to our, our advantage. Oh, wow. Those are some good hits. Three more 11 inch hits on the Abacure. We destroyed another turret. That was two potential flash fires. But, anyways, knocking out about half of her. Yeah, I mean, it is half of her um, firepower. That is really significant. Before Niobe disappears, let's just kind of take a look at her ship. So this is absolutely a match for the Bronze Swag. 42,000. 35,000, but we have 10 15 inch guns. The armor on this thing is just unmatched. Yeah, if we can get in close, I don't think that the Imperator Pavel has a much of a chance of being sunk. The Seven has done really well. Come back and really whittle down on this Abacor class. Topaz, are you dead? You're not dead. Which means the Ziatoslav. Svatoslav is going to get away, I think. Uh-oh. Another hit. All those hits hurt. They hurt a lot. Unfortunately, the McStabbin kind of put herself in a position where she's not able to fire against the Abacor anymore. So we're going to have to turn her up and to the left, which is fine because the Imperator Pavel is trying to close anyway. The humanity, I mean, look at this. If you want to put the MVP of this fight so far is the humanity because she's caused all those shells to miss. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, and the McStabbin's actually able to get a full, full broadside off now. The Abacor has heavy damage. Look at that. Would I want to sacrifice two battle cruisers for one of theirs? No. But. It's probably a fair trade, in tonnage it certainly is. This is a 40,000 ton ship, and mine are just under 20,000. Technically, it's a fair exchange. Point value, I wonder. 52, <laughs> we don't know the point value of this. I'm assuming it's more than double these. I would hope. It's not what I would want to do, but if that ends up being how things play out, I'm okay with it. Come on. She's still firing at the humanity. We don't know how much longer that's going to last for, though. The Imperator Pavel almost in range. Niobe's coming right back at us, though. I do not like that. We need to dive back behind the humanity for this. We need to focus on Abacor, but... Ugh. 
We did. We were able to get another hit. She's down to 15 knots. We could actually keep up with her at this point. But the Niobe is coming back head on. And she's engaging the McStabman. Okay, McStabman, you need to just dive behind the humanity. Doesn't sound extraordinarily brave, but that's just what has to happen. Oh, another un unidentified ship. Is that just the... Nope, that's a something. Is Malta 2, is she going to live? We're going to drop her speed. I'm just on a wing and a prayer here that she'll do something. Did she get back her... Nope, still jammed. If she's just going to spin circles, I was worried about her being a target, but since nobody's targeting her right now, I'm going to put her to stop. Maybe she can control her flooding in time. Oh boy, they got the McStabman's number now. Now the Imperial Pavel has started engaging the Niobe. Oh, those two hits are so, so threatening. She's already lost a knot of speed. Uh, now she's lost more than that, she lost a turret. Alright, McSavin, we need you to live. The Imperial Papa can't take him all on by herself. So we need you to get behind cover. Oh, God. Oh, my God. She only has one gun. She was still able to hit us. <laughs> no. Split the difference here. Okay, we were able to land another 11 inch hit. Oh my gosh, Molotov 2. Well, will the Braunschweig come and redeem the day? Uh, it's unknown. It doesn't look good. Have we sunk the Abacor? I doubt it. I highly doubt it. But all these questions will have to be answered in the next video, where if luck goes well, if the Bronze Spike can come in and be a hero unit, maybe, just maybe we can sink a few of their battle cruisers. And if even more luck prevails, maybe we can even save the remainder of our Battlecruiser fleet. It doesn't look good. But anyways, thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys for the uh, uh, possibly exciting conclusion of this fleet battle in the next episode. So until then, take care.